Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan. I don't really give a shit what we're drinking today, but tell me about it anyway. <laughs> Mike, we're going to the danger zone, baby. Oh, Top Gun style. We to the danger zone. This is from the New Belgium Brewing Company, and this is their Voodoo Ranger Tropic Force 9. 5 ABV. So this is deemed as a tropical IPA, Imperial India Pale Ale with natural flavors. They're out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, so funny story behind this one. Oh, we got a comment recently uh -huh. and it said, Hey, you guys should try some Voodoo Ranger. And we have, we, 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 we tried, tried enough. We tried what the juice force, juice for fruit force as well. Did we do fruit force? I don't think we did. I think we just drank it. I could be wrong. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Yeah, whatever. Either way. Uh, let's just say we were not a fan of the fruit force or juice force. I don't know. Either. Yeah. It um, it's just kind of, you know, the beer didn't shine on its own. The hops didn't shine. It was kind of natural and flavor. It tasted overload. like half the can melted into the yeah. beverage. <laughs> so we'll check it out. Um, we will. We will. So for all the people that say. Completely say, unbiased try, opinion. Try some Voodoo Rangers. We're trying some Voodoo Rangers. Uh, so Voodoo, wow, look at that pour. That's a beautiful that's, pour. Uh, that's a little, I mean, not quite beer head for the win, but it's getting there. I don't want to disturb it yet. No, because that's a good looking Wow, beer. dirty glass mafia. There we go. Um, All right. It looks pretty good with my, with my pour. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It looks It looks like a, like maybe a pear pineapple uh Kind of color to that. it. Look at that. Very light yellow. Nice uh, foamy finger of bright white head. Yeah, uh, it, it's hazy. Um, mm -hmm. Not, you know, the opacity is just a little, you could definitely see your fingers oh, through this. Swirls skull. up nicely. Yeah, yeah. Just a um, little shadow of your fingers. Very carbonated. Yeah, a lot of carbonation bubbles rising. Swirls up nicely. Yeah, let's say that's going to work. If you can. Wow. That is... That's pineapple for light days. pineapple lifesavers with pineapple like <clears throat> popsicles. It smells like the uh, Jenny tropical coast that pineapple with, um, that candied pineapple. What are, what are those chews? Not now and later's, but the the ones in the white packages, uh, the mambas. Oh, yeah, is it, is mambas? it mamba? Yeah, like the mango uh, mambas. Yeah, and that like wax paper. Yeah, I yeah. know what you're saying. Not not high chews. Those are the upper echelons. Actually, this has a little bit of high chew to it. Is, is no one brewed a beer, like, with high chew? Yeah. This, this like, where's that? Listen, I'm not going to lie. It smells Just good. because of the tropical it and, like, good. tropical candy-esque kind yeah. of thing. It smells good. It smells good. Here's the thing. Can I smell, like, the base beer? Absolutely not. No, I just smell candied pineapple. Lifesavers all day. Like, there's not, like, a bittering hot presence. It's not, I can't smell any, like, there's not crackery, bready kind of thing. It smells like it's going to be really sweet. We'll find out. Let's find out. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, look. There's the force. Ooh. All right. Oh. 9.5. Body is kind of a full. And yeah, it is a full it's body. Full, full body. Uh, mm -hmm. Mouthfeel is like a cross between syrupy, but then you get this pop of crispness. Yeah, yeah. Does not hide the ABV very well. Mm -hmm. It's very. It's a very boozy beer. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a big, big, big yeah. booze. Um, it almost drinks like a, um, like some of those high gravity beers. You know what it, it comes off. Okay. As. I know you've you've done you've used this once before. Okay. Right off the rip, this comes off, like you said, like a high gravity lager mm -hmm. kind of thing, but it's a high gravity big IPA yeah. base beer that isn't pronounced with the hops so much. Yeah. And then just used extract tropical, like the the meal. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, I, I I feel like I feel like you had like this IPA that just like I said, it doesn't come across as like very expressive in the hop note, um, and you just took some. The 
the nose was fantastic on it. Mm. The the beer itself tastes like the other four beers I've had. It it just tastes like you're licking sheet metal. Uh, it leaves <laughs> this, like the this sheet we- metal. This weird drying metallic. There you go. On the back of my pet, like you get some all that high so ABV the tra- is in the front, and then it's just so for you the tropic. Metal. Is there, it forces itself into the front of the palate. Yeah, yeah. And then you just get sheet metal, metallic. I can see the metallic thing. Yeah, I get them with all the force offerings from this. I I don't... I didn't mind the... The the fruit punch one. Oh, yeah, I got the same thing. I don't like any of them. The fruit punch one, I could... Because that was kind of like a Hawaiian punch. Isn't that what Vanderwall said? Like, it was... I didn't get it at all. It just tastes okay. So we were kind of like kind of yeah. researching if we could find hops or anything in this online, and I saw somebody made a comment on Reddit, and I gotta kind of sort of agree with them in a way. They said basically this beer is for people that don't like beer, yeah. but want like a tropical drink, but it's overtly sweet and sugary. And here's the thing, like. I know these are really popular. Voodoo Rangers, super popular. Mm-hmm. If you go to a cookout or whatever, people are like, oh, let's pick up our, our Budweiser's Labats. Oh, we need an IPA for those people that like IPA. Mm-hmm. And they buy a 12-pack and they throw it in the cooler. Yeah. And not that there's anything wrong with that. It's fine because some of their, their lower uh, ABV offerings I, I think are pretty decent. Like, the, you actually taste yeah. the hops. Yeah. It's, it's not filled with natural flavors and adjuncts oh, whereas these big 9.5 i feel like they're using the same base almost yeah throughout. it's got it. mixing up a hop or two and just whoosh, putting your kool-aid in yeah it. i i feel like and i don't mean to do a disservice to new belgium because i've had new belgium beers that i like mm-hmm. like i just don't like this line. the original the og Buddha ranger yeah that is a decent i haven't had that in a while it makes me want to go back and get an og Buddha that ranger. is a decent supermarket ipa we haven't done that one, have we? No. That's a good one. Um, All right. Um, now, do the natural flavors, do you like how they taste? I don't think anything is natural about this beer. What I'm Okay. Do you like the candy, Kool-Aid, pineapple, mango, tropical flavor? No, not at all. You don't? Because no. it all tastes like it's just being poured over the discarded okay. wing parts of whatever two-bit plane this skeleton guy's flying. No, I, I don't care for this beer at all. I don't. I'll tell you, what, it's good packaging. It's great packaging. I mean, the market, the concept, the character, and everything—it's yeah. great. It's fantastic. I mean, I'll tell you, what, you, you definitely feel this one. I'm sure. The nine point five. You're feeling. <laughs> you're oh, feeling good. Yeah, I mean, but isn't it? Isn't that what this beer is? It's a beer you're gonna feel afterwards. I mean, the can size and everything. So it's weird. The, so they market the taste as sweet. It masks the the base beer. Um, and, but at the same time, it's boozy. Like if I'm picturing like, okay, my wife, if I'm going to have her drink an IPA, mm-hmm. this. I'm going to have her drink some 6% session. That's not like crazy bittering, but like, she's not going to want to drink a 9.5 where she just drinks all, she can drink like a, a vodka and oj or something or, that know. kind of transitions into what i was gonna say who's this beer for the mass market it smells so bad it smells great i don't know yeah it's it's not, not a fan no it's it's uh, if i had to rate this i'd probably give this a three three i'll give it a three out of five 1.75 i think it's garbage um However, I'll give it another rating. Like if you're if you're looking for, let's say you're you're looking for one of those high gravity beers, you want a little more fruit note to it. Oh, spice yeah, it up yeah. a little bit. This is probably the way to go. Maybe that's who this beer is for. Maybe you don't want to drink your Steel Reserves or oh my your God. Jenny Blacks. This, that's you know, what this, this beer is, is for. This is the Smirnoff version of Steel <laughs> Reserve. There you go. So so uh, uh, as far as that goes, I mean, I'll give it like a. I'll give it a three eight or something. Okay. If that's what you're looking for, you probably could do worse. All right, there you go. All right, Buddha Ranger, another, another one in the books. We're, we got to do a regular, a regular New Belgium beer. I'd... 
<laughs> Southern tier all over. We, we gotta go. Thanks for everybody. Cheers. <laughs>